Yo, what's up guys? Back again with another one. Look at your thumbnail. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back with another one. As I told you guys, I'll be back with a um I told you guys I was gonna get the 360 red for you guys. Well, I come back with the 360 black by Perry Ellis. I'm going to get the red for you guys, too. Y'all be on the lookout for that. That red does smell a lot like Aqua Dijon. For real, for real. All right, now, this is a fleece that come in. Flash or whatever. As you can see right there, center of the day. 360 black. I call it flash. Whatever. Perry Ellis. Okay. 360 blade. All right, here's the ball. The actual cologne comes in. <laughs> here's the top. Here's the spray. All right. Y'all seen it before? Okay. So y'all seen that all before? Yeah. That's the center of the day for me. Okay. All right. Now, this here starts off like a sweet, tobacco-ish type smell. That's what I get from this one. Um, it smells really good, though. As I just spray them, I kind of make it dry down a little bit. Okay. It smells good. It's, it's kind of plungent. Now, the main cause in this is fresh, spicy, tobacco, amber, Warm, spicy, and sweet. Now, you do get the sweetness a lot. You get a lot of sweetness in here. Yeah, you get the sweetness. You get the tobacco. And you get the warm, spicy. But the most dominant note, seems like to me, is really, really, really sweet. <laughs> It really sweet though, guys. Seriously. Now, um, this here was this 360 Black by Perry Ellis was launched in 2006. So it's been out there for what 12 years. Been out there a while. I had mine about two or three years. Okay. Okay. I still got about about half of the ball a little in this. One. Okay, 360 Black for men. By Perry Ellis is an ori oriental spicy fragrance for men. Black was men was launched in 2006. The fragrance features amber, nutmeg, ginger, cardamom, cardamom, tobacco, basil, and suede. I don't get so much of the suede that they talking about, but see the suede is in here. Okay. I said a lot of people said this reminded them of John Barbatus Vintage. Or John Barbatus or whichever one. Okay. It reminded me a little bit of um what is it? Um Burberry London. That's what I get from this one a little. Uh I would say this is more of a fall winter scent. It ain't nothing that you really want to just Apply on you and rock around with it for during the summer months or spring too much. I would say spring, I would say fall and maybe spring, winter probably might would kill this one down. So you can rock this like, I would say October, November, something like that, December. Not December, but October, November. Then you might go rock it out April, May, June. Because this is not a really Strong scent, you know, it's kind of even the projection is moderate on this one. It's not nothing that's gonna reach right out there and just grab everybody back with the smell, you know what I'm saying? Go just reach out there and attack nobody. Um, to me, the, the projection on this one is, is it really wasn't that good, in my opinion. That it could be just my opinion, you know. Um, the longevity for me. I got about four to six hours. 
it, the longevity was decent. Uh, but it won't out in this world, though. You know, it ain't nothing like Jakar or nothing like that. But um, pretty decent, the longevity was. All right? So, 46. Like I said, the projection just moderate, man. You know, it's like, might be a little less than moderate. It ain't nothing that's going to just, you walk up, just going to reach out there and knock everybody down. It ain't nothing like that. It's like, um. I would say it's most like a close, more like a close encounter or something, man, you know. Just like I could take this now, I could spread it here like this. Okay. Get a nice tobacco, boba gum, you know. Let it dry down a little bit. Smell it off the top, you get the tobacco, the sweetness. Um, that's basically what, to me, the vibes you get right off the top is the tobacco and the sweetness. And being I just sprayed it, you know, after about a minute, a minute or two, it settles back. Like I said, it ain't now one of those type of colognes that's going to reach right out there and, and touch everybody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the person I, I notice you, I would say if they come in on you, you know, let's say you, you your girlfriend, or your wife or something. To me, this cologne more sits more closer to the skin. Uh, that's why I, it wasn't really one of my favorites. This one wasn't. Um, I actually thought it was a little better than it would, would actually perform, you know. But uh, actually, this one didn't perform as good as I thought it would, you know. Well, at the time I bought it, so that explains why I had for the ball is still left. Cause uh, I can it didn't perform as well to me as I would have liked it to. But it'd be a dark type of scent, you know, black. You know, thinking of black, a black type of smell cologne. You think, oh man, it's gonna be dark. It's kind of dark. It is a dark smell, kind of smoky, incesty type scent sweet but it's just one of the ones that really wasn't that powerful you know i guess i think i paid about 20 bucks for i guess you can't expect a whole lot but um it, I, you know it, it is what it is man it just then you know <laughs> it just didn't perform exactly the way i liked it for you know to perform i guess you might want to say but it do pretty good. Like I said, now on my skin, I got dry skin. So this cologne for me, I'm pushing it really. Just saying, you gonna get four to six hours out of it. No, that's, you know, I'm just giving you a ballpark figure that on me, I'm lucky if I got that. I probably got four hours tops. No, six is is running with somebody who got a uh, skin oilier than mine's probably. That's why I said four to six. And plus, I always hit my clothes and stuff, you know, whatever, whatever. But uh, yeah, this one here, um, it smells super good though. It smells really, really good. It smells good, but it just it was weak performance to me. Um, the performance just wasn't. Where I wanted to be, you know, <laughs> I, like a, like say for example, I could take this probably and mix it with Cuba Red or something like that. They kind of bump the cigar smell up in it or something like that. Probably could put Cuba Red here and put this here. Put a little Cuba Red here and spray some of that on top of the Cuba Red or something like that. It kind of boost the cologne tobacco scent and the woody scent in a different direction. Um, but uh, ordinary. This particular one just didn't give me the performance that I like. So I that's why I got a little bit over half of the bottle still left. I didn't rock this one that much. You know? So that's why most of it is still here. Okay. <laughs> I just had to call it out, guy. I mean, 
Now, a lot of stuff sitting around, a lot of cologne bottles is all back here. As you can see, cologne, 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 cologne. But um, I'm going to call them the way they is. Uh, they, I don't care if they are name brand like this one. If they didn't perform the way I like it to perform, I'm going to say it. I'm going to call it out that way. Uh, that just, I ain't going to bite my tongue. Okay? So that's been a review, man. Of the Perry Ellis 360 Black. I don't care who don't like it. Uh, it smells good. Don't get me wrong, man. Go back in the fleece like this. It just didn't perform the way I like it for it to perform. All right, guys. Take care, man. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.